Say hello to Bella. How are you doing, lovey? Yeah. Saturday night, I had to separate these two. Yeah, Crystal, the other one's in there. Because, uh, yeah, I've not flown this out yet. They've been fighting. That's part of a tale. Apparently, yeah, they're quite resilient, they're quite hardy animals, you know, like towards the elements. Part of a tail's, you know, the end of a tail's got off because the white one, Crystal, yeah, there's, I've had them for about a year now, and sound as a pound, you know, they've been like quite loving to each other, good mates, you know, bunking together, sleep, you know, they're sleeping together, and then they just suddenly started fighting. Well, I'd say, like, Crystal here, I'd say, you know, I've been terrorising, you've been terrorising poor Bella, haven't you? Hey? Yeah, I know, that's it's best I can do for now, I don't have a second cage. It doesn't look too well. On Thursday, two days from now, I'll be tr I'll, I'll try and re reintroduce them because they can't be left alone for too long. But yeah, not a scratch, eh? Yeah, as I said, drew blood. It was uh, the grey ones, Bellas, and it was all over us. She looked all blooded. She looked like a white little nipping warrior, didn't you? Your little, your wee mini. You wee mini Donna bitch. I don't know. You know, fucking dominant, you know, declanning as I call it. But yeah, this is. That's a food there, so you kept knocking the plastic container over, so. I just. Yeah, I know, the dot. Doesn't look very sanitary, I mean. I think I will have to give them a quick clean out, but. But yeah, I've laid a towel down to prevent infection. She's looking not healthy, you know. I'm doing what I can, yeah that needs filling up, yeah I'm glad you noticed. But yeah, they started fighting, no problems, they were good pets, I mean well, you know, friends. And uh, they got on well together, they didn't really cause me any grief or stress, and then uh, this bad wee madam here start, started, yeah. She's a gentlist, she's a lot more well behaved, you know, she's quite, she obviously she's quite a lot more active since, you know, they need more, more tits, I think they need, she's been wanting more attention since she's lost the wound there. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself, eh? You're chewing your friend's tail off. Yeah, they're both females by the way, obviously. Yeah, and I know it doesn't look very nice to look at. This looks like she's living in a bit of a, you know, guinea pig sty. I'll have to clean all, give her clean. That's the water. But yeah, uh, she's the victim here, so she deserves to stay in the cage. And yeah, that's I, I need to get, I need to get another wheel. Well, I did get there's a silent wheel. Apparently, that that wheel is for hamsters. So. But they still use it nevertheless, but yes, it's looking a lot better. Yeah, she was sleeping in that. She was just she she looked very down to her her fur was all fluffed and she was just like she was just in there. Just, just like and you know, she obviously got the the gerbet, you know, the well, you know, the tank area, you know, the bedding. And just, you know, because the for the start fight feuding, you know, the they don't sleep together anymore and she was in that you know that sand bath yeah, it's a sand bath she was just in there and that was like with she was just like sleeping in the toilet really because you know they're fucking they're defecating there quite a bit but yeah I just think violence violence too much violence I'd rather watch a Tarantino film than to 
Well, I know you watch animals fight on documentaries, documentaries all the time, but it wasn't very nice for for these little little black-eyed ones to start killing each other. So, all right.